Hello viewers, welcome to the channel Santa Lecture. In this video, we will be discussing about compulsory licenses, section 84 under Indian Patents Act 1970. This comes under chapter 16, working of patents, compulsory licenses and revocation. Compulsory licenses is very important subject matter under Indian Patent Act and we will be covering many more sections under this heading in our upcoming videos. Section 84, Compulsory Licenses, Subsection 1. It says about when a license on the ground of compulsory licenses can be given. Subsection 1 says, at any time after the expiration of three years from the date of grant of a patent, any person interested may make an application to the controller for granting compulsory license on patent on the following grounds. A. That the reasonable requirement of the public with respect to the patented invention has not been satisfied. B. That the patented invention is not available to the public at reasonably affordable price. And C. Patented invention is not worked in India on any one of the grounds or two or three of these grounds can be mentioned in the application for requesting grant of compulsory license on any patent and that application can be made after expiration of three years from the grant of that patent and any interested person can make the application on these three grounds. Subsection 2. An application may be made by any person notwithstanding that he is already the holder of a license under the patent and no person shall be stopped from alleging that those three grounds the reasonable requirement of the public with respect to the patented invention are not satisfied or patented invention is not worked in India or the patented invention is not available to the public at reasonably affordable price by reason of any admission by him whether in such a license or otherwise or by reason of his having accepted such a license. So these three conditions are very important to have compulsory licenses. Any of these grounds can be a ground for having compulsory license. Say a person is already having a voluntary license. Even if it is admitted by him in that license that these three criteria will be fulfilled, still he won't be stopped to allege or proceed for taking compulsory license. No matter what is the terms and conditions in the already existing voluntary license a person has, he can still apply for compulsory license. Subsection 3. Every application will contain a statement with the nature of the applicant's interest with other particulars and fact upon which the application is based. Subsection 4. The controller, if he is satisfied that the clauses A or B or C together or any one of those mentioned in subsection 1 is valid, then he may grant compulsory license upon such terms as he may deem fit. In case of ordinary or voluntary license, the term of the license is set by license or licensee or licensor. But in case of compulsory license, the term of the license will be fixed by the controller. Subsection 5. Where the controller directs the patentee to grant a license, he may exercise the power as mentioned in Section 88 that we will cover in our upcoming video. Subsection 6. In considering the application filed under this section, the controller will look into the matter that whether the nature of the invention 
or what is the nature of the invention and the time that has been passed since the grant of the patent and what measures has been taken by the patentee or licensee to make full use of the invention. Next, he will take into account the ability of the applicant to work the invention for public advantage. He will take into account the capacity of the applicant to undertake the risk in providing capital and working the invention if the application is granted. And the next point he will take into account as to whether the applicant has made effort to obtain a license from the patentee on reasonable terms and conditions. And such effort has not been successful within a reasonable period. That reasonable period is not ordinarily exceeding period of six months. Now these clause shall not be applicable in case of national emergency or other circumstances of extreme urgency or in case of public non-commercial use or on establishment of a ground of anti-competitive practices adopted by the patentee. Subsection 7. Here, what is reasonable requirement of the public is elaborately mentioned. For the purpose of this chapter, the reasonable requirement of the public shall be deemed, that is, shall be considered not to have been satisfied, that is, what are the conditions or situations that has not been satisfied, then only one can say that reasonable requirement of the public is not satisfied. A. If by reason of the refusal of the patentee to grant a license or licenses on reasonable term and for that an existing trade industry or development or establishment of new trade industry in India or trade or industry of any person or class of persons trading or manufacturing in India is prejudiced or demand for the patented article has not been met to an adequate extent or on reasonable term or market for export of the patented article manufactured in India is not being supplied or developed or establishment or development of commercial activities in India is prejudiced. So when these can happen this situation arises, then it will be termed as reasonable requirement of the public is not satisfied. 7b. If by reason of conditions imposed by the patentee, that is patentee is imposing some conditions upon the grant of license under the patent or upon the purchase, hire or use of the patented article or process, the manufacture, use or sale of materials not protected by the patent or the establishment or development of any trade or industry in India is prejudiced. That is whatever in the patent, the patentee can give terms and conditions on that in the license. But whatever is not under the protection of the patent, he cannot give any terms and conditions on that unprotected part in the license and if he does so and for that establishment or development of trade or industry in India is prejudiced then reasonable requirement of the public will not be satisfied. Section 84 7c If the patentee imposes a condition upon the grant of a license under the patent to provide exclusive grant back, that is the patentee is willing to have exclusive grant or prevention to challenges to the validity of patent or coercive package licensing, that is licensing under package. Say a patentee has three items, now licensee needs to take all the three. There is no option to take any one of them. That is package licensing. 7D. If the patented invention is not being worked 
in India on commercial scale to an adequate extent or is not being worked to the fullest extent that is reasonably practicable or if the working of the patented invention in India on commercial scale is being prevented or hindered by importation from abroad of the patented article by the patentee or the person claiming under him or the person directly or indirectly purchasing from him or other person against whom patentee is not taking any action of infringement. The relevant rule is Rule 96. Here it has been mentioned an application to the controller for an order under Section 84, 85, 91, 92 or 92A shall be made in Form 17 or Form 19 as the case may be. In Section 84, Form 17 is applicable. These are very important case laws regarding compulsory license under Indian Patents Act. The first one, Natco Pharma versus Bayer Corporation. It is India's first ever compulsory license that was granted to Natco Pharma for generic production of Bayer Corporation's Nexover. The other two mentioned here has been rejected. This is the fees related to Form 17 mentioned in Section 84. Thank you all the viewers for watching the video. Please give a like and please share and subscribe the channel Santelectual. In our upcoming videos, we will be covering other sections coming under compulsory licenses. These are very important sections under Indian Patents Act 1970. And afterwards, we will be providing other sections as well, along with the rules, forms, fees, etc. That will be very helpful during the preparation of Indian Patent Agent exam. Thank you once again.